what's going on youtubers this is mf2 also known as Jerosa, bringing you a quick tutorial on how stippling is done by me personally i'd like to preface this tutorial by saying i apologize i am feeling very sick and crappy um and i might sound sick and crappy and that's why i'm apologizing i'm sorry if you hear sniffling and all that crap but i'm trying <laughs> all right so um the first materials you will need is a, a pencil uh, for marking the areas that you would like to stipple a uh, soldering iron for the actual act of stippling uh, your polymer frame pistol the thing you will be stippling and uh, a uh, dremel if you want to do the other uh, modifications that I'm doing in this video um, I uh, you know this isn't a tutorial on these modifications but I did include them in there just in case somebody did want to see what I'm doing um, I like to you know just uh, find interesting things that people do and you know I may not adopt it but it's uh, interesting um, and maybe you would uh, find this interesting and maybe you like it and maybe you will adopt it do it to your own pistol so here I'm shaving down the back side of the trigger guard so I can get a higher grip on the pistol I do like this because I have bigger hands and it feels a lot nicer to have a higher grip um, I do shave off a lot because I do have bigger hands if you were to adopt this um, this technique and uh, strategy maybe you probably wouldn't shave off as much because uh, uh, the majority of people do have smaller hands so um, you know but it, is, it does help uh, obviously I can't just tell you to go try it and then if you don't like it then you know add more material you can always take off material but you can't add material so uh, it is kind of a thing that you're taking a risk on and a gamble you might not like it but I do um, I do recommend it I do like it a lot it does feel very nice and uh, here you, you see I'm also shaving off the bottom of the magwell you might be asking why it's because uh, when you do uh, eject your magazines um, you can take your index finger and your thumb and basically slide it on the very uh, back or not back uh, sorry the bottom of the magwell and uh, extract the magazine without dropping it and you get a better grip on it because uh, certain parts of the magazine are uh, you know visible to you and tangible that you can grab them and put them in your dunk pouch instead of grabbing a little uh, a base plate you can actually grab a piece of the magazine and make it easier to um, extract your magazines you might be wondering why I'm shaving down the surface of the pistol um, it's because uh, the surface was very rocky and not smooth um, it was their own uh, innovative grip system, I guess, for this pistol. But I am shaving it down to uh, create a smooth surface so that my stippling is aesthetically pleasing. Um, you don't want it to be all rocky and just not right. And it also doesn't feel right in your hand when you're using it. So I uh, take very uh, careful time and consideration when getting that surface very smooth. <coughs> um, I uh, actually did not... Well, I was recording the part where uh, I did trace over the outline with my uh, pencil but it for some reason got lost in the files and I have no clue where it is and might have not even recorded so I apologize for that <clears throat> but uh, I did trace the outline of it and then I started outlining it first and um, that was very important to me because after stippling for a very long time, I tend to go out of the lines with my, uh, just, um, you know, when I'm stippling because I get so tired and I'm just an autopilot and I just want to get this done. So I just like, I'm just stippling nonstop listening to music, you know, and I just do it without thinking because it's just very frustrating. So uh, I, I outline it first so I make sure I don't go out of the lines while on autopilot because I, I have done that in the past before. And uh, like I said, I'm not a professional at doing this, so you know I'm just giving you tips on how to avoid that situation. I do want to say that uh, when you do um, stipple these polymer pistols, I think it's very important to note that a ventilated area is imperative to your health. Uh, it's uh, very toxic to burn these plastics because they do um, have a little smoke when you're burning them, and uh, I have accidentally breathed it in before and it does give you a burning sensation in your lungs which is obvious to tell that it is toxic and I don't doubt that it is 
So uh, I would recommend that everyone stay in a very well ventilated area. It's um, very important to your health that you do so. I wouldn't even take a chance with this kind of uh, chemicals and plastic. And it's uh, incredibly unhealthy and dangerous. Um, but getting more into the pistol itself, uh, I did uh, take a series of uh, minute breaks while um, stippling because I was just getting very, very tired of uh, stippling and taking my time. I was trying to do uh, very sli uh, slightly smaller holes than I did before on my, any of my other pistols because I wanted to come out a certain way. So I did take a lot of breaks and because uh, it did take a lot of time. I did this actually in the span of two days, but during those two days, I did spend a majority of my day stippling. It did take a lot of time. So, uh, but I do recommend you take breaks, otherwise you're, you're liable to, you know, start rushing it. And you do it subconsciously because you just want it to end. And it's a very painful process, actually. Um, well, I'm, while I'm just watching this and editing this video, it's making me feel even more sick. Just because I remember stippling. And I'm so over it. I'm so tired of it. But it is very rewarding in the end. You have a very nice looking grip. A very functional grip. And it's uh, very, very rewarding. But it does take the time. It very much takes the time. Well, I do hope that this uh, video has helped you in any way. Uh, I um, have a couple other tutorials in the mix. Painting tutorials. Uh, I'm not sure... If you want to see, uh, I have uh, certain other uh, guns coming up for review. Um, I have KWA SR10, KWA LM4 PTR. Um, I just uh, dropped a Wii Tech review. And I also have a KWA MP7 coming on. Uh, those are painted. Um, I'm going to. I want to ask you uh, once I do post those videos if you would like to see a painting tutorial on those respective paint jobs. So um, if you leave in the comments what you think about that, once I do drop those videos, that would be a great help. Also, uh, I would like feedback from this video. If you didn't like what you saw or you know, you would much prefer a video to be in a certain way, I would very much enjoy that feedback. Uh, anything that I can help and do in the comments, just uh, state it or private message me. Thank you for watching. Favorite, like, comment, subscribe. This is MF2 signing off.